One of our most popular videos linked up here showed how you could get a portable MiFi with external antenna ideal for a caravan or camper van for under £50. This featured the ZTE MF910. At a bargain price to get you online this unit features a category 4 cellular modem. But now for not much more money you can get the ZTE MF971V which has a category 6 modem. So what does that mean? What difference does it actually make and is it worth the extra money? Keep watching to find out. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything camper van and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I know what you didn't like. Some of you will have seen my previous videos on mobile internet, where I talk about lots of different options at different price points. If not, I've put together a playlist of all these videos up here. As equipment improves and technologies change, the performance of devices obviously gets better. And one area I mention is the category of the modem or MiFi, for example, Cat4 and Cat6. So in this video, I'm going to explain a bit more about what that is and do a direct comparison between a Cat4 and a Cat6 MiFi. So you can see what you can get for a bit extra money. First, let's take a quick look at the theory. Mobile phone towers don't just send out one frequency of signal. They have multiple bands that have different properties and travel different distances. Here are just three of the bands that the 3 network use in the UK. The MF910 with its Cat4 modem can connect to any one of these. The MF971V's Cat6 modem can also connect to any one of these, but as well as that it can connect to two of them simultaneously aggregating the bandwidth available. You may have heard this process called carrier aggregation. This means that whilst the maximum theoretical speed of the MF910 is 150 megabits per second, for the MF971V it is 300 megabits per second. Now, because of the load on the tower and the performance of the network, you're very unlikely to see these kinds of speeds. But in reality, the simultaneous connection does mean where you can get multiple connections, you should get better performance from the MF971V. Something to remember is if you're in a location where only one of the frequencies can be reached, then you're unlikely to see any difference between the two. In addition to the carrier aggregation feature, there are a few other key improvements on the MF971V that are worth noting. The Wi-Fi now includes the option of a 5 GHz band, which is able to carry more bandwidth than the 2.4 GHz, meaning if you can get that faster performance in the mobile network, you can also get it to your device faster. You can connect up to 32 devices by Wi-Fi rather than be limited to the 10 on the MF910. And the number of frequency bands that the MF971 is able to connect to is increased, making it more compatible and more likely to be able to benefit from that carrier aggregation feature. Now, let's do a quick performance test comparison between the two in a real life test. We've got each MiFi connected to the three network using our Smarty SIMs. If you're looking for a mobile plan, we highly recommend Smarty. We've been using them for over two years and are very happy with their coverage, performance and price. If you do want to try them out, there are no contracts or ties and if you use our link in the video notes, you'll get your second month for absolutely nothing. The local tower we're connecting to has bands 1, 3 and 20 available that both MiFi's are able to use. We're using identical iPhone X's connected to the devices and we've connected by 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi on the MF910 as it's all it's got but on the MF971 we're using 5 GHz. I've purposely not used external antennas for this test to keep things consistent but both devices have a good connection to the mobile network using their built-in antenna. And as we would expect, we're seeing roughly double the download speed available from that Cat6 modem in the MF971. Let's see if we get a similar improvement on the upload speed. 
And there we have it, both up and download speeds are roughly twice as fast. When it comes to price from AliExpress, the MF910 can be purchased for just over £40 with delivery and taxes. The better performing MF971V comes in at around £60, which is not much more for a better performance. You can see links to both in the video notes. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.